welcome to this week's Stowford Press, Would I Lie to You? This week we have Ed Slater, Fraser Barmain joining us, known each other for a while, so this should be a very good one. Basically, the idea of the game is they tell a truth or a lie, and the other guy has to guess it. There's a score at the end of it, and fingers crossed there's a winner. So, Ed? Uh, yes, okay. Uh, Fraser, you know where I grew up, didn't you? Um, where did you grow up? Milton Keats. Okay. He was born in Leicester. Thank you. I used to play school football in a Burnley football kit. <sighs> the world's most passionate Charlton supporter, but was that down to your uncle? What, the Char being a Charlton fan? That was down to my uncle, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's already taken a... Okay, what colour was the strip? Uh, claret. <laughs> I don't have a clue. Well, I haven't got a clue what colour Burnley strip. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you have the full kit or just the shirt? Full kit. So full kit what? Uh, yeah. 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 Um, passionate supporter. Passionate. Yeah. Could never doubt him for that. Um, and how old were you? Oh, it was middle school, so about 11, 12. Seven or eight. I... I'm going to go truth. That's very oh, irritating. Right. Because it is true. true. It is true. It well, is that. true. Thank you. So do, you want the story, do I give the story behind it? Or? Well, if you'd like to, yeah, please elaborate. Yeah, well, I will, I yeah, I will. We had yeah, a, a teacher called uh, Jim Hudson, who was from Burnley. Um, and you brown-nosed. I'm shocked. Big Burnley fan. <laughs> big... <laughs> no, surely not. A big Burnley fan. I'm going to ignore you, Fred. <laughs> a big Burnley fan. Um, and he set up a link between Burnley Football Club and so my school, Two Mile Ash, used to have to play in full Burnley kit for their school games, which was bizarre, really. So now you didn't look buy it then, or literally you just No, no, the whole, the, whole, the, the whole football team would wear Burnley football kit for our school yeah. games. There it is. So, yeah. there you go. Story behind the story. I couldn't even get a shirt to fit me for football. You still can't. Stretch it. Is. Thank you for that. Yeah. Um, right. I had a talent shirt at school. This is junior school, by the way, and my talent, because I was a rather large gentleman, not because I looked like him, was I had to eat a cake like Bruce Bogtrotter at the front. Okay, so... Flavours the cake. A little bit elaborate with the yeah. details, you know, in terms, you know, I, I was a big fella. Like, everyone knows you're a big fella. Well, yeah, no. Like, only for, I'm literally only exactly. this size. Well, what is I'm amusing this size as well. because of rugby. Yeah, it is. It's naturally. Of course. That. <laughs> Course. You had a haircut keep like Bruce Bogtrot when you were younger as well, didn't you? Yeah, I've seen a few photos. Mum said it looked good on me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I never uh, say a bad word about your mum. Um, I, I will say, I think we have discussed this in the past, mm -hmm. and I believe it to be true. It gives me great pleasure in saying it's false. Oh! Maybe we've just talked about you looking like Bruce Bogtrot. <laughs> yeah, I know, like maybe that's where it comes from. Chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> And you do eat a little bit like no, Fraser then. Okay. Oh, is it two Yeah, it's two notes a year. You guess it and you got the lies, so yeah, it's becoming interesting, haven't mm. it? Okay. Would you like to go again, please? Again, sticking to a football theme. <laughs> That's all I've had in my life. Um, I was a rather large Charlton Athletic mascot at 14 years old. Rather l large. I mean, I know you were very large a few years ago and you've gone back down, but large. How old are you, sorry? 14. Uh, lie, you've just looked at the paper for how old you were there. Thank you, and you fell for it, it's true. Oh, there we go! He's <laughs> <laughs> done it by too much. 2 I 1 am. is that? Yeah. 2 1 Ed clawing his way back. Fraser. Can I, can I give another little story? Do you want another story? Yeah, I've got, got, yeah, got, I've got loads of stories. So, um, it was actually against Bolton, yeah. Bolton Wanderers, and uh, UC Eskalinen was in goal. And I, he'd already been throwing a ball and I then threw on another ball onto the pitch which delayed the game a little bit, which was very embarrassing. But I then happened to go on and buy a VW Golf, whose previous owner was UC Ascalina. <laughs> there you go. Wait for the applause. Yeah, I honestly used to catch him in the car park just rubbing and smelling the seats. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, um, anyway, moving on. Is it my turn? Is it 2-1, yeah, two, is it? 2-1. Two, um... Again, at school, um, I, and if this comes as no surprise, uh, I don't know if you've seen Henry's calendar, but I'm in it, um, Mr. December. December. I had to take part in the school fashion show, and <laughs> I did the catwalk. 
would you wear? What did I wear? Well, can I point out I didn't choose my outfit, as I probably guess. Um, I, funnily enough, had a turtleneck and flare jeans at the time. Flare jeans. jeans? Yeah. They were in there back then, though, weren't they? You yeah. are a descendant <coughs> of the Balmain clothing line, aren't you? Pierre. By your own admission. Pierre Balmain. Yeah. He, I've followed, unfollowed him on Instagram a thousand times and he's still ignoring me. Do you think even if he followed you and then sent some clothes over, they'd even fit you? Uh, custom fit. It would have to be. No, I've looked. Val yeah. keeps saying it's going to get me a t-shirt, but hasn't found one yet. Right, okay. That's There's flirting. a lot of things that Val promises, isn't there? Yeah. Um, <laughs> never delivers. Uh, I will have to say true. Again, a lie. Okay. Um, I I'll, I'll also would like but to tell my story. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go Please on. tell the story. Um, These back stories are story. yeah. <laughs> I pretty much was the only lad in my, my school was quite small. I was pretty much the only lad who was not asked to do the catwalk. So it's actually quite a bad memory for yeah. you. Scott, Scott, yeah. Three one to Fraser. He's doing well. Ed, your last one, please. So he so he, catch him he has to catch me out here. So he has to he has to win both now. Thank you for pointing that out. So that that's the stats. Um, yeah, that is correct. That is the stats. I starred in the school production, a coach trip. That was the name of the school production. I was going to say a coach trip is not a film, but and it's, it's a pretty cool. raunchy one. I'm pretty sure that lots of productions have been filmed at school. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the coach trip, the film I'm thinking of, is not one you would have. It's like American Pie. Um, it's road trip, isn't it? Yes, That's it is. Road okay, I've been made a fool. Can we delete that? Thank you. Um, <laughs> the film. The Start again. Film guru. Start well. again. Coach trip, oh yes. Like no, That's road not trip. Bit, that's no, not fit and edited out. Um, <laughs> so, so tell me again, I've got mixed up here. I starred in a school production, a coach trip. But what was it about, apart from a coach? It was about a school trip on yep. a coach. It was actually, um, yep, I had to be a Liverpudlian. So I had to do a Scouse accent. And basically what, it was, it was built around the different personalities from school on this coach trip to where we were going. Were you a hot-headed Liverpudlian who lost his temper with everyone? There's lots of hot-headed Liverpudlians. Um, so and through his bag no, no, the back I was, of the coach when they took the road. I was a really funny, witty um, scouser that everyone liked. Right. So I, I, I played it really well. So this is so <laughs> unbelievable. Slip, slip trains, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going <coughs> to go true. It's false. It's false. I can't swear on this. Um, three right. two. Score more three two. Yeah, it is. Claw his way back. So this is basically this comes down to it. So so the worst I can get is a draw. Yeah, but we're gonna are we gonna kick on with it anyway? Course? It's three two to Fraser. His last one. So if you uh, guess okay. this, you tie it. If not, yeah, yeah. fortunately he wins. Yeah, quick or mass over there, nice. Quick mass um, on board. Here okay, go. kick it off, Fraser. Your last one. When I went to Belize, I was stung by a tarantula on the bum. I know the answer to this one. See, I knew right. This is also, why you have someone one. you don't know. Also, you've gone two lies. I predict that you would have got a truth anyway. Well, I'm over the moon about this because I wasn't bitten by a tarantula. I you was bitten by, by a scorpion on the back. That's not true, Fraser. Get out of that. Yes, it is. Just because we're on video, you need to tell the truth. I'm telling you, it was a scorpion on the wall, tried to kill it with a bog roll. It flicked in the air and I didn't know where it was looking for it. And then I felt it go up my back and I thought it was a good idea to grab it. And it scorpion stung me on the hand. On the hand or the back or the ass? If I call it my back, it stung me on the thumb. And so I, you, I yeah, took you it you like a it man. stung you on the back and now it's stung you on the <laughs> hand. I realise so. I've mixed it up myself, yeah. But so. I was it crawled up my back, it stung me on the thumb. Was it actually a scorpion? Really? It was a scorpion, okay. yes. It was a scorpion and it stung you on the finger. Thumb. Thumb. Yeah. And you've already guessed that it's false uh, or true? No, I've said true. So I'd, it is close. <laughs> this was what I said when this I... This story, yeah, but you haven't... It was... Do you know the truth? I've the just the truth you just told is different to what it actually is, though. Mm. Yeah. Because he's trying to be clever. Yeah. I don't, I'm not trying to be clever. <laughs> I don't know. There's a, there's a bit of a ruling on this. Not, is that fine, is it? For the, for the dig he gave you earlier. I, I, I actually... I, think I feel like you've, you've tried to lie about lying. You want to go do a tiebreaker? So a lie on a lie yeah, actually means the truth. I'm actually going to say that, Ed, you can bring it back. A double negative. So he's lied to it. He loses a point. It's three or... 
we okay. need a tiebreaker. I want, I want to hear another one from him, if that's all right with you. Of course it is, obviously. So the tiebreaker is. Thing for you. Oh, of course. All football related. Absolutely. Fantastic. Um, no, actually, one was a school production. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's on you. I, in stone, I weighed my age until I was 19. Until you were 19? <laughs> so when I was 19, I was 19 stone. <laughs> and then I... So I, then you were 18 stone the year before, 17 the year before, yeah. 16 stone the year before. Yep. <laughs> do, you not have an, do you not have an age when you jumped or anything like that, or you literally were like stone at a time? Consistent, mate, just like my rugby performances. <laughs> Uh, I reckon you're probably 19 stone at 10 by the look of you, so <laughs> I'll have to say it's a lie. It's the truth. I was very proud of it. Is that actually true? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Fraser. Fortunately, at 27, I don't wait. You stopped. Stem. Yeah, from, from 19 on the tide. So you're 19 stone in stone? I don't That's know good. if I trimmed down, I just didn't get any bigger. That's all right, that's fine. Well, that that is also consistent, as you've always been four times your age in mills. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, Fraser, we you're this week's winner of the Stoker Press. Would I lie to you? Congratulations. Thank you. You've been a tremendous. Host. Thank very, you so much. Very funny. I thought that did quite well. Uh,